Hello students, this is a continuation video lecture of the previous video on the topic correlation where we learnt the definition of correlation and the types of correlation like positive correlation, negative correlation and when there is no correlation and we also learnt about simple correlation and multiple correlation and we saw the definitions of the categories of uh, different types of correlation. Now in this video we are going to learn the measures of correlation. So what is what are the measures of correlation? So what do you mean by the measures of correlation? The measures of correlation means the way of measuring the correlation. So there are different ways to measure a correlation. Here we have categorized it. We can measure it by using the scatter diagram and there is a formula predicted by Carl Pearson known as Carl Pearson product moment of correlation and then there is a another formula predict by, predicted by Spearman's known as Spearman's rank correlation coefficient and it, co it can also be uh, found by co coefficient of concurrent deviation. Let us learn each of these one by one and we also know that correlation is an unit free measure of the relationship between two variables. So there is no unit for correlation. It is unit free. Okay. The first one is scatter diagram. So first we shall learn about the scatter diagram. So what is a scatter diagram? It is done by taking one values of x along the x axis and the values of y along the y axis. So when we have the values of x and y, we can uh, take it along the x and y axis and we can draw a graph for it. And if the graph is linear and if it is uh, towards the right, if the line is towards the right and the um, collection of dots is clustered uh, very closely to the line, then it is a linear uh, correlation. And when the line bends towards the right, then it is known as positive linear correlation. And when the dots are clustered, along a curve uh, which is uh, along a curve which is known as curvilinear or non-linear correlation and when when it is along the positive direction it is known as positive non-linear correlation and when the dots are clustered exactly on a straight line it is known as perfect positive linear correlation in a similar way we have the negative linear correlation where the dots are clustered uh, along a linear line that is very closely to a linear line and the line bends towards the left you can see here you can see the difference between positive and how the negative is so such a correlation is known as negative linear correlation and when the dots are clustered along a curve it is known as negative non-linear correlation and it is it can also be called as negative curvilinear correlation because the dots are clustered along a curve and when it is exactly on the uh, line then it is known as perfect linear negative correlation because as the line bends towards the left we call it negative and this is a perfect linear negative correlation. So here I have written the definition of linear correlation and non-linear correlation. So when the dots are clustered around a line, it is known as linear correlation. And when the dots are clustered around a curve, it is known as curvilinear correlation or non-linear correlation. The diagram will be like this. So the dots will be scattered uh, in the graph. It will be not along a straight line or not along a curve. So in such case, we say that we have no correlation or we also call it as zero correlation or you can also say that the variables are uncorrelated. So uh, th this is the scatter diagram. So I hope you have understood the scatter diagram. Next we have we are going to learn the properties of correlation coefficient. So always remember the correlation coefficient is unaffected by the change of origin of reference and scale of reference. So when we change the origin and when we also change the scale of reference, the value of correlation coefficient will be unaffected.
so this is a very important property which we will be applying in the problem where we will uh, change uh, the origin and the scale and then we can we will be evaluating the correlation coefficient so you'll understand co this concept better while solving a problem so as of now you remember correlation coefficient is unaffected by the change of origin of reference and the scale of reference the second property is the value of correlation coefficient always lies between negative 1 and positive 1 so r lies between minus 1 and plus 1 so we include these two values where r uh, the value of uh, va value negative 1 and plus 1 is also included so always remember the value of r lies between negative 1 and positive 1 and when r is positive that is whenever r is greater than 0 so whenever it is always positive when it takes the positive value the um, uh, correlation will be no will, will be will be a positive correlation which uh, the definition of uh, which we have already seen in our previous video so the variables x and y increase or decrease together so in that case it is known as positively correlated so whenever r is greater than 0 it is positively correlated and when r is exactly equal to 1 so if it is exa if it exactly takes the value 1 then it will be a positive correlation as well and also a perfect positive correlation so when r takes the value exactly 1 it will be a perfect positive correlation and when r is negative so whenever the value of r is lesser than 0 and what can be the other limit it can be only we all know that it is greater than negative greater than or equal to negative 1 and whenever it is strictly uh, lesser than 0 then the variables x and y move in the opposite direction so by the definition of negative correlation we know that they move uh, like for negative correlation the variables move in the opposite direction which we have seen in our previous video so whenever r is lesser than 0 that is whenever it is negative then it is uh, known as uh, negative correlation or the variables are said to be negatively correlated and the next property is when r is equal to negative 1 then there is a perfect negative correlation so remember when r is negative 1 it has a perfect negative correlation between the variables and when r takes the value 0 so whenever r takes the value 0 the two variables are uncorrelated that is it has zero correlation or there is no correlation we already saw the scatter di diagram where we saw this right we saw positive linear correlation so for this what will be the value of r it will be greater than 0 for non-linear also the value of r will be greater than 0 for perfect positive linear correlation the value of r will be equal to exactly 1 in a similar way for negative linear correlation the value of r will be lesser than 0 and for this also the value of r is lesser than 0 and for perfect linear negative correlation the value of r is equal to negative 1 so, okay yes and then for no correlation the value of r the numerical value of r will be equal to 0 so all this we have to remember so these are the properties of correlation next we will learn the limitations of correlation so the limitations of correlation so what are the limitations the formula for correlation coefficient holds only if it if there is a linear correlation between the variables that is the relationship between the variables is linear in that case only we, we can use the formula for correlation coefficient and the correlation theory does not establish casual relationship between the variables so it does not establish the casual relationship between the variables and it does not suggest the variations in y are caused by variations in x or the vice versa so we cannot decide in like that so um, correlation theory does not establish the casual relationship and when we have the high correlation so when the values are high okay uh, between x and y it may describe any of the following situation so variation in y is caused by the variation in x or the variation in x is caused by the variation in y or x and y are jointly dependent 
and the correlation between x and y may be due to chance so whenever we have a high correlation between the variables the uh, one of these may be the situation so all this may appear under uh, one mark questions and there is a uh, spurious correlation which is also known as chance correlation and this does not provide any causal relationship between the variables involved so we cannot decide the uh, relation causal relationship uh, between those variables and then finally i have listed here the formula for karl pearson karl uh, pearson formula to find the correlation by using karl pearson formula for correlation so there are three different formulas that we can use to find the value of correlation so whenever there is no assumed mean so when we are going to take the direct values of x and y then we can use this formula that is r equal to this formula and when the deviations are measured from their mean that is when we change when we make a change of scale and origin how are we going to make the change we take the mean and then we uh, change the variable so when it is changed the formula is given by this or there is another method where where when deviations for x and y series are taken from some assumed values so uh, any value can be assumed and then we can uh, using those values we can evaluate dx dy all that and we can substitute here so this is another third formula for correlation i would suggest you to use mostly this formula but whenever the values of the variables x and y are too high then it is uh, suggested uh, suggested to use either this or this formula so using these formulas we will be finding the correlation which we will be seeing in our next video um in our next video using these formulas we will evaluate the value of correlation thank you